This is Twit. Hey, we got a few minutes before uh, the spaceman joins us. Spaceman, touch us down. I want to hear about this meteor that just flew over Berlin. Talk about breaking news. (laughs) This just in. But why why don't we do a quick email before, before then? What? It exploded over Berlin. It did? That's what... Holy yeah, cow, we got we'll video, of, video it. of it. Oh my God, this just in. <laughs> Film at noon. Uh, <laughs> Steven, who's who's at Hotmail.com, in fact. What? And still has as his uh, signature. He hasn't changed it yet. Get Outlook for Android. Oh. So. <laughs> Steven, let's move you off a of Hotmail, please. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, the free Outlook is pretty good, but do yeah. change the signature to your name. I'm trying to keep my Google storage limit below 15 gigs because I'm cheap and I wanted to remove most of my photos to an external hard drive. Oh, Lord. After reading about takeout, it says it separates the metadata to a JSON file and it becomes difficult to match up the date and time the photo was taken. Is that true? That is true. Why does it, it do is, that? So on the one hand, I commend Google for, for not being Hotel California, not being a roach motel that you can check in, but you just can't get out. Uh, that was the idea of Google Takeout back in the day when it was created by, I think it was Brian Fitzpatrick. He said, you know, you got to have a way to get out of this. And Google back in the day was not so evil. And so they said, yeah, that's good thinking. We're going to create Takeout. Takeout, in theory, lets you get all of your Google data out of your Google account, including your Google Photos. Having done this, <laughs> I know what a pain it is. Uh, I actually use a variety of tools uh, like EXIF tool and and a variety of things to get the dates back Mm because you can't get the dates back uh, to get that information back. But it's a it's a lot of work. I had to handwrite some scripts and stuff. So I'm going to recommend a a former sponsor of ours called Mylio, M-Y-L-I-O. It's free on one computer. Mm -hmm. So put it on one desktop. You do want a desktop for this. And then do the Google takeout. The other thing Google does with Google takeout is they don't let you have the whole thing. You have to do little gigabyte files. I had, because I have so many photos, I don't, I think I had 11, uh, two gigabyte files uh, to wow. process. Mylio though, which, and this is worth it, even if you had to pay for it, but this is for free, imports it. And then puts it in the Mylio Photos database. From there, you can export it. You can put it in Apple Photos or whatever you want. But it will do the right thing. It will take it in. It takes a little while. It has to process it. It might even take a day or two. Just you know, let it run uh, because it's then going to reassign the names. Uh, it also dedupes if you have duplicates, which is a very handy thing. Uh, I really like this uh, program. They were a sponsor. I think they're coming back. They're just taking a little break. Um, so I should mention that. But if you can... That's probably the easiest way to do it, is use Mylio. Import, it imports from a variety of places, including uh, your Google Takeout. Actually, they'll walk you through the takeout, the whole process, and import it. And I, as I remember, they get the dates right. No, that's not it. That's something else. Yeah, because it's it. if I remember correctly, it doesn't even really use Takeout. It it just goes directly to no, the Google No, no, it photos. uses Takeout. Oh, it does? Yeah. Then it must be the other photos library that it does that way. Yeah, well, this is, and this is the problem is, getting it out of takeout, uh, but it will import takeout. Um, the other way to do it, and I have a, uh, somewhere I have a whole thing on having, how I got this stuff out of Google takeout. I have a script and stuff. It was complicated. I had to do a lot of uh, um, t- trial and error. Have you ever done this? Yeah, using takeout, but not not resyncing my metadata afterward, no. Okay. Yeah, too so, complicated. This Take a screenshot of this. So, this this literally that's a that's a shell script for file in uh, star unzip the file into a temp folder. Okay, so you do that, and then you go to the temp. Then you remove. I remove the JSON files. You fix up the creation date to match the EXIF. So this is critical. The JSON file is not necessary if you used a camera that stores the creation date in the EXIF. If Got you it. didn't, then you really want to use Mylio. But what I did is I used a program called JHEAD, J-H-E-A-D. Now, this is on a Mac. I think some of this is also available on Windows and DOS. And I JHEAD moved it into folders. So folders based on, so this was a very, this is somebody's crazy script. EXIF JPEG manipulation tool. You'll get an idea of how geeky this is from the website. 
Yeah, look at it. It's plain text. <laughs> it's a text thing. So this is the first thing is uh, is J-Head. And oh, look, it has a Windows, Linux, and OS ten. So oh, that's it's good not news. on um, Homebrew? No. Well, it might be, but it's open source, so it's very easy. Uh, it doesn't look like it's on Homebrew, but maybe it is. So J-H-E-A-D. And then I use this EXIF tool, an equally geeky, ridiculous program by Phil Harvey. Uh, also open source, also free. Look at this. Just as bad as the uh, wow. J-Head, right? Uh, this is also cross-platform. So this... <laughs> this is hysterical. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm going to hammer your, your site, Phil. He says, it's F, if exiftool.org goes down, it's because of the crappy DreamHost web hosting, <laughs> which disables unlimited traffic website if a single bot hammers a site with a moderate load. Here's an alternate page on SourceForge. Let's hope we don't kill this page. Uh, but you can download this. I use JHead and Exif Tool to kind of get all the metad metadata right and all of this stuff. It both of them are kind of you. The <laughs> it's this supports every file type. You probably could do everything you want in Exif Tool, or get Mylio, mm -hmm. <laughs> which would make it a lot easier. Uh, jhead is in homebrew thank you that's nice uh, i don't think you have to use both jhead is for jpegs and by the way your your google photos are all jpegs so this is jpegs to get the exif data and to and you can create folders with it and move them into the folders you can apply the exif data to the photo i believe the cre and by the way it's uh important that it's not the modification date it's the creation date uh, because that's you want to you because the creation date once once you get in takeout is now Google's date whatever date you did this so you're going to then go to the EXIF which is that metadata that's stored into a photo by your camera and it'll say the creation date you take that creation date and you make it the creation date of the file JHead will do that EXIF tool would do that EXIF tool is a Perl library mm. <laughs> give me some idea what we're talking very geeky uh, but yeah you can do it. Hey, if you like what you just saw, all you got to do is head to twit.tv slash ATG to subscribe. Then smash the bell, hit the button, and I don't know, do that stuff the YouTubers do.